Hello YouTube, MSG Retired here. That's right, one of our stolen valor thieves arrested. Thank God. Uh, Wheels of Justice are moving right along on this one. Sarah Kavanaugh did a piece on her earlier. Social worker, uh, Providence VA, Veterans Administration Hospital down in Providence. She was a social worker. She's been arrested, finally. Uh, she's been charged with four different counts in federal court, and we're going to go over that. Wheels of Justice are spinning a little bit quicker on this one because uh, her house was raided back in February, and I brought you the information on that. And uh, hats off to this federal investigator. He uh, did a great job with his investigation. And uh, we're going to go over the affidavit, which gives probable cause for the arrest and for the charges. So let's take a quick look at the, uh, and I did find the court records, very easy to do. Uh, let's take a look at the criminal complaint. Uh, and this is on or about the dates from August of 2021 to present. So not a very long time frame. For something to actually happen with this. Sarah Jane Kavanaugh. Uh, and the charges are 18 USC 498. 1343. 704. Stolen Valor. With the aggravated uh, portion of it as well. That D1. That is an elevated uh, charge. And then uh, 1028A. The aggravated identity theft. So. Special Agent Thomas Donnelly from the Veterans Administration Office of the Inspector General uh, has done all of his due diligence in his investigation and has filed this criminal complaint with the United States District Court, District of Rhode Island. Let's take a look at the warrant. Here was the arrest warrant. The arrest warrant came out on the 21st. And she was, um, correction, on the 11th. The warrant w came out on the 11th of March. She was arrested on the 14th of March. And it seems like Special Agent Donnelly is the one that facilitated the arrest. Good job, buddy. I appreciate that. You're, you're doing a great job with this one. Here's the affidavit, and we're going to go through the affidavit. Um, I'm going to skip some of it because really not um, all that, uh, I don't know, and enjoyable to sit here and listen to me read. But uh, the very first por portion, the investigator, you know, I'm special agent, blah, 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 and talks about his background. Uh, where he works, the types of investigations he does. Uh, paragraph four, as described below, there is probable cause to believe that Sarah Jane Kavanaugh, year of birth 1991, committed violations of federal law, namely 18 U.S.C. 498, 1343, 704B and D1 and 1028A. Um and he talks a little bit about based on his experience uh, and training, how he came to these conclusions. Uh, he submits this affidavit in support of the criminal complaint charging Kavanaugh with those charges. And then he formulates his uh, probable cause. All right, Kavanaugh altered or forged a military discharge certificate in furtherance of fraud. January 27, 2022. Um, the VA received an inquiry from... Now, this is the person that blew the whistle on Kavanaugh. Chelsea Simone. Uh, she represents a nonprofit, Hunter 7. They contacted the VA trying to get um, verification on Kavanaugh. 
So they look through it. Uh, let's see. Simone provided copies of medical bills, a medical diagnosis for cancer, and a DD-214, which is your discharge paperwork. Uh, the medical bills appeared to show that Kavanaugh was undergoing cancer treatments at Dana-Farber Institute in Boston, Mass., where she had lung cancer from exposures to burn pits and inhaling particulate matter from an, the aftermath of an improvised explosive device. Um, the DD-214 showed that she served in the Marine Corps from 2009 to 2016, achieved the rank of corporal. However, of course, in her photographs, she's wearing staff sergeant. Uh, further scrutiny of the DD-214 by Kavanaugh to Simone revealed inconsistencies. Then he talks about what he looked at. I'm not going to dig down into the weeds on this. Uh, first off, I don't want to tip off any of these other scumbags out there that are forging these DD-214s. There's other ways to validate this. They actually found out who the original DD-214 belonged to. And I'm going to skip down. And it's talking about a... Uh, uh, DPRIS. It's an ID number, basically, uh, instead of using Social Security numbers. And they found out actually who this DD-214 belonged to. Uh, she claims military medals to which she was not entitled in furtherance of fraud, which Stolen Valor Act, the 804 B and D1. Here she is with the staff sergeant on. She was also elected as the commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 152 in North Kingstown, Rhode Island, which uh, as soon as this stuff started to hit, she immediately resigned from. But she never had any... Uh, any rights to be a member of the VFW because she was never in the military. And being a commander of it, really? Uh, I just, this just upsets me. Um, let's see. They checked into her VA email accounts. They found where she had ordered these medals from a company in California. You, you just can't make this up, but, you know, when you work for the government... They can monitor all of your emails and your computer usage. So, Kavanaugh's claim of being a Purple Heart, and I'm going to go right down to here. Kavanaugh's claim of being a Purple Heart and Bronze Star recipient was used to obtain benefits from a charity called Creative Vets during 2018 and 2019. This organization uses donor money to send veterans to various art programs for therapeutic reasons. Due to limited funds, Creative Vets stated that the admission process is highly competitive. Creative Vets gave Kavanaugh preference due to her claims of possessing both the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star with V device. She received $16,472 on travel, tuition, and an art program, and other benefits. What a scumbag. There was a uh, GoFundMe created to assist her with her medical fees that raised $4,766. And she received payments of that. Uh, she had an extensive contact with another nonprofit organization called Code of Support, where she just hounded them for money. Um, they started giving her money, and this kept going and going, and she kept wanting more and more money uh, to get her furnace fixed, um, so on and so forth. The Matthew... Pacino Foundation gave her $10,372 to get her uh, furnace repaired. She kept contacting this, uh, 
this nonprofit. Uh, she got a gym membership paid for. Uh, mortgage payment that was in arrears. She got twenty four hundred plus dollars on that. Um, then she said she was getting six thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars from the VA, but that was cut and requested $1,500 for just unspecified monthly bills. So Code of Support stated that uh, she had gotten over $18,472. Also, uh, Wounded Warrior Program between 2017 and 2021 representing herself as a wounded combat veteran. She was receiving $500 per month for groceries and physical therapy sessions for a total of over $207,000. This scumbag, she needs to be put under the jail. So then they talk a little bit about the EDIPI ID number that was on the DD-214. They tracked the DD-214 down to a Patrick Herney. Um, there was some embellishment on it and some changes made to it. They verified that it was, in fact, his signature uh, and initials on it. And it's they're unsure how Kavanaugh had gotten a copy of it, but she had accessed his records through the VA because Herney had been seen at the VA in Providence. So... It's, it's unknown how or why she got his, but uh, she did it. There's also a, a reimbursement letter for COVID for travel. And she used her spouse's name, Nicole Bregler, on this. And Anna Samantha Fallon, who's a known associate of Kavanaugh, uh, to get I forget how much it was. It should say in here. Um, no, I don't see it. It was it was like nine hundred dollars worth of travel fees for a cancel flight due to COVID. <clears throat> so, in the conclusion of this. Uh, he, I mean, he lays out his probable cause for these charges, did a great job on it, submitted this, and, of course, warrant was issued, and the charges were filed. Here are the, here's the official charging document uh, from the court. So it's count 1, 18 U.S.C. 498, used or exhibited a military discharge certificate knowing the same to be forged, counterfeit, or falsely altered, with a maximum penalty of one year imprisonment, $100,000 fine, one year supervised release, and a $25 special assessment. Count number two, fraud by wire, radio, or television, 18 U.S.C. 1343, max penalty, 20 years imprisonment, $250,000 fine, three years supervised release, and a hundred dollar special assessment. That's the big one. The rest of them are one year, two year uh, maximum penalties. This one's got a 20 year max. And I hope that the judge hammers her for at least 10. She deserves more. She deserves the max on each one of these. Here's your stolen valor, 18 USC 704B and D1, which elevates the charge with intent to obtain money, property, or other tangible benefit, fraudulently held herself out to be the recipient of the Purple Heart and Bronze Star with V device. Maximum penalty, one year imprisonment, $100,000 fine, one year supervised release, and $25 special assessment. And then the aggravated identity theft, because she used another's actual medical diagnosis and another's Altered DD-214, two years imprisonment max, $250,000 fine, one year supervised release, and $100 special assessment. So, as you can see, uh, Special Agent Donnelly did a great job. He uh, put his nose to the grindstone. There were many other 
uh, federal agents involved, the FBI, other investigative services, NCIS. Um, they all worked together on this and a lot of work went into this and I was so happy to see this pop up on the court docket. Uh, as soon as there is a court date set, I will be bringing you more information on what happens in the court. Um, probable cause, great job on that. Definitely met the, the uh, PC on this. And she was arraigned and released. Uh, I couldn't find what the, uh, if there was a bond amount on the release. Uh, I'm sure there was. I don't know what it was. But uh, she is out and amongst us. Uh, I don't know if she's going to start a GoFundMe now because she's a uh, a phony wounded USMC Staff Sergeant Purple Heart Bronze Star with a V, and she needs money for her court case now. <laughs> uh, I love it, but this is this is how you get somebody charged with stolen valor. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to meet, and this one meets all of it. And there's a lot of other charges that go with it that are of a higher penalty than uh, the Stolen Valor. So I hope they really smoke her on this. I'd love to see it go to a jury trial. I might even drive down to the uh, the court because it's not that far for me to go down to uh, the Federal District Court in Rhode Island and actually sit in on this. Hopefully it'll be open. Hopefully I'm around. I'm not out at one of my motorcycle rallies. But I'd love to go down and sit in there and uh, and listen to this, because this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be a pisser of a, a court case. Anyway, guys, <coughs> um, hats off to Simone for doing this. Also, there was a uh, the person that brought up the the questions about her service. It it was actually a uh, Naval Reserve Lieutenant Commander. Uh, who was previously a Marine who noticed deficiencies in the uniform. Um, she had her collar stuff on backwards and um, age didn't seem to line up with action in Iraq for the Marine Corps, but uh, great job. Anyway, if you like the content, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell to get notifications of any new uploads or lives I may do. This is going to be blasted out as an instant uh, video for my channel. And I hope you enjoy it. If you're out there riding on twos, make sure you keep the shiny side up, rubber side down. As always, have yourself a great day.